Hey, what's up you guys? So, I see my um, alluring attitude and my amazing personality has drawn you back into the bed of a miner. So, I want to get personal with you again and talk about presentations. Because it's something I myself have had to deal with and they're fucking terrifying. But it makes you wonder, what it is that really makes it so nerve-wracking to people? Because when you think about it, they're really not that big of a deal. You know, as long as you know your pre your presentation and you talk about, and you know, and it's a um, topic that obviously you're very you know, passionate about, you really shouldn't have a problem presenting it. Uh, I know that this is kind of the pot calling the kettle black, but because uh, I'm terrified when it comes to presentations. Uh, I honestly, a couple weeks ago, I had to do my senior presentation in order to graduate. And I literally felt like before I went into that room, I was going to walk in there and they were all going to be holding signs up that say, fuck yourself, or we hate your guts, or we want you to fail, because it's scary. But then when I got in there, honestly, I was waiting for them to be passing around a gun and playing some Russian roulette because they looked like they just did not want to be there. Like literally, I felt as though I was going to see one teacher go over to another teacher and be like, it doesn't get any easier, and then push a gun toward them. I literally felt like that's what it was going to be like. They, I, I walked in there, and they were all kind of slouching. And they just didn't look comfortable. Um, nobody really wants to be in the position where they have to listen to a presentation, because let's be honest, if, if it's something that people are choosing, most of the time it's going to be like the same like four topics. And nobody wants to listen to the same four topics given in five different presentations, all of which are in the same format, but just done by a different person. And obviously, you know, it's different because you're going to get a different amount of energy and a different uh, amount of emotion and passion from certain people, but it's also boring because it's the same topic or it's the same presentation template that everybody's using or it's the same everything. It just, it gets boring to people and especially because they've been there for a few hours, uh, for, in my case, they were there in a few hours. and it, Nobody wants to sit through that. No one. I don't care how interesting your topic is. No one wants to sit through that topic five times. Um, and you know, afterwards, they don't even give you feedback. It was more like, you did a good job. Interesting topic. It's stuff like that. It's not really negative stuff unless, let's face it, you did terrible and you literally didn't even, like, try at all. And out of the eight minutes that you needed, you only gave them two minutes. Um, it's really not that difficult. But when I walked in there, I was literally, I was so stiff and terrified that I didn't even feel like I could move my legs to walk. And no, I don't mean stiff in a perverted way, you disgusting people. Um, I like, literally like my muscles were just so tense and it, it was, it, it's terrifying. Nobody wants to go through it. But, you know, it's something that we all have to deal with. It's something that's always going to be around because you're always going to have to present something. Whether it be in front of a bunch of people who are part of your, um, your class, or if it's just in front of a panel of judges, or what have you. It's always going to be around. And there's never going to be a possibility that you can just not speak in front of people because it's a huge life skill and it's something that honestly people need a little bit more of because there are so very few people that can actually sit there and present and not be nervous and do a great job that's kind of ridiculous and um the fact being that people get so terrified you know i understand i have the biggest social anxiety that you'll ever like talk to um oh it's 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 scary um but you know you can't really let that fear kind of overrule rule your life because um the minute that you do is the minute that you're going to fail because you don't want to be up there and you get so nervous that you end up speeding through the whole entire presentation or you end up like vomiting on top of yourself or pissing your pants because that's what I felt like I was going to do. <laughs> um, but it's really not that bad and um, more. And if you practice it might help you and I personally I don't practice at all. I mask my fear. <laughs> Like literally, I mask my fear like a fat person masks their depression with food, but instead I mask it with jokes. Um, so instead I walk into that presentation room and 
I just start making jokes or like um, I made this one joke about um, about my pre about my presentation about um, I can't even remember what I said, but I remember them going, "Ooh, that's wrong," and I was like, "Oh no, no, no! I did not mean it like that." But let's face it, it's kind of true. So I was making jokes, um, but yeah, it's really not that bad. So mask that fear behind jokes, and everybody will learn to love your presentation. Um, I don't know why, but I really wanted to talk about this topic just because I love the idea of the fact that I could walk into a room and have people holding up signs saying "fuck you" and "we hate you" and "we want you to fail." When really, honestly, they probably would have been holding them toward themselves, saying, Why the fuck are you doing this? What is wrong with you? Where's that gun when you need it? But yeah, it's really not bad. And the minute that you accept that is the minute that the, your nerves kind of go away. Um, I just felt like this was something that I needed to talk about, because I personally deal with it. And so I assume that other people deal with it just as much as I do, maybe even more. So I thought it was important to talk about. But on that note, I'm beginning to ramble, and I hope that you guys enjoyed your time with me in my bed, because why wouldn't you? Um, don't forget to like this video, leave some comments talking about your presentations that you've had to deal with, and comments that you thought you were, you were going to get, or what your topic was about, or anything, really, you know, just let's get it all personal about presentations. Um, and yeah, so... Or you can tweet me with them instead if you don't like leaving comments on YouTube because you hate Google Plus. You can always go on to my Twitter at SullyTV. There will be a uh, link in the description box below. And I hope to see you guys again next week. I hopefully come up with uh, videos every Tuesday, Thursday. And uh, so I hope that I can get personal with you again in my bed. When next time I might be talking about something that could be ranging from the first time to... Lord knows what, because when you're with me, you never know what's going to happen, and it's true. So, I hope that you guys have a good time, and remember, if it isn't fucked up, it'll probably do better in life than I will. I'll see you guys later.